G'day, I'm Vic, and welcome to Gigo Farm, where we do things differently. Ah, terrible stuff. This is our slice of paradise. 250 mature olive trees and a big white house up here on the hill, and a high-tech fab lab down in the town. We run a small IT business, brew alcohol, press olives, teach young geeks, grow fruit and veg, hunt, farm chickens, and experiment. I'm quite fond of a nice cup of tea myself, rather than that fizzy muck. And for that, we need water. And our water comes from a tank out back. The tank lives around the back here, behind the chickens. And it holds about, thank you, about 20 ton of water. The water comes from a borehole situated down in the valley that collects its water from the... The water comes from a borehole down in the valley that collects its water from the Tararua Ranges. So our water comes up the pipe here into a little regulator box that ensures we only get two tons a day and then drops into the tank. Our olive trees don't need irrigating but we do irrigate the garden a bit and we have other water uses like the pool which we'll get to in a minute. One slight problem, the um, hose fittings don't stay together in the pressure needed to take water from our tank to our bedroom which is up the top down to here. Mm. So I've had to employ a load of hose clamps, which fortunately I have left over from a previous project. Ah, the beautiful sights of New Zealand reflected in the tranquil waters of a pond. Except, it's the Pool of Doom. It's my swimming pool. So, first step, evict the wildlife. Mix up a bucket load of chlorine and throw it in to evict the frogs. It won't kill them, but it'll give them the hint to move on. There are two kinds of chlorine granules. There are the unstabilised kind, which is what you use for removing all the algae from the pool. And there are the stabilised kind, which is what you use during the normal running of the pool. And that stops your chlorine being destroyed by sunlight. With the aid of this protective gear, I transfer it into these containers, which are much easier to handle, uh, and also more waterproof if you don't quite seal them tightly properly. In New Zealand, it's illegal to put poisons inside food grade containers. These are old dishwasher detergent containers, so we're legal. One of the peculiar things about pool chlorine is that it reacts quite vigorously with ordinary hydraulic fluid, sort of thing you'd use to top your brake system up with. Um, this can actually catch fire and has been used in survival situations uh, to start emergency fires. Uh, you can use the uh, little uh, funny smelling brick things in urinals as well. Uh, I'm not going to load this up now. You need enough hydraulic fluid to saturate your 60% chlorine granules. So I'm going to put in about that much. Uh, the reaction proceeds best in warm conditions and sometimes won't happen at all in cold conditions. So we're going to fill this steel container with uh, lukewarm water to hurry things along. And also for safety. Reagents, hot water, safety equipment. Let's do this. this crap looks like under the microscope. Let's zoom in for a closer look. So here's the sludge. Whoop. Excuse me. A terrible cold. Treating it with high octane moonshine. Right. So we'll take some of the sludge with a dropper and we'll put some of that on the slide. Mm. 
I'm going to pop it in here. And we'll have a look at it on the USB microscope. Uh, this might take a while to set up. So uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in a minute. <coughs> yeah. yeah, well, it must be good for you with all those things living in it. <coughs> Day two, and already it's not looking quite so livid. So we're going to mix up some chlorine granules in the bucket. While I've been doing that, a frog has just leapt into the pond. Uh, froggy is in for a surprise. So, chlorine granules in the bucket. Get some water in there. And stir it up. Yeah. So this little fella has now been evacuated from the swimming pool and he's not very happy about it. He's making a great deal of commotion beforehand. Sounds like a party, Rosa. I don't think they're the best of friends. And look, see, quieting down again. Good frog. Okay, let's go and find another little pond to put him in. So back washing the filter. Excuse me. Back washing the filter. Uh, I've put a uh, drain pipe on it so that I don't get very wet. Uh, I used to just splash out roughly where the camera is. And obviously that's a bad idea right now. Um, we have a big valve on top which we push down and we swivel around to the setting backwash. And then we turn on the pump. And then this little sight glass will go really cloudy. There it is. That's all the muck and ullage being blown out of the filter. We wait for that to clear. I might cut for a bit. We're starting to clear. Given the amount of crap in the pool, I won't wait until it's perfect. So I will turn off the pump. Then we have to set it to rinse. This allows the sand in the filter to settle so it doesn't all get pumped into my swimming pool. Do that for about 30 seconds. Yeah, that should do it. Turn off the pump again. Set it back to filter like it was in the beginning. Turn it back on and it will pump away and remove all the crap from the pool with renewed vigor. Okay, a period of one week has elapsed since the last video and we can now clearly see that the pool has stuff on the bottom and green tackle growing up the walls. Um, this is, believe it or not, an improvement. We're starting to suck the cloudiness out of the pool uh, and in another week I'll actually be able to swim in it. We check the chlorine in the pool with these test strips here. Let's go and dunk one. we go. Just need to dip it in. It's supposed to wait about 15 seconds, but already we can hold that up there. We can see, yep, there. Oh, lovely. Yep, so uh, our chlorine is all the way up to 11. Awesome. So finally, you can see things on the bottom of the swimming pool, like the uh, vacuum head down there. Um, that's down there because the cloudiness is settling to the bottom of the pool. So I want to suck the cloudiness out. Anyway, it looks vaguely swimmable. It's um, still got a bit much chlorine in it, and as the weather's crap, I'll maintain that state for the day. Hmm? What's that? You say that Jesse's mown the grass? Oh, there he goes. And he's filled the pool with grass clippings? Oh, lovely. Uh. And finally, gods be praised, everything has settled onto the bottom of the pool. The pool is clear and... Uh, right. And we should be able to swim in it. So the pool is now in full working order. 
All we need now is some nice, warm, sunny weather. But it appears that for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.